hide something. Former Congressman Alan West joins us here in studio. You think they are trying to hide something, and they're hiding a lot of big problems that they don't want to get out. Well, absolutely. I mean, Judicial Watch brought this out, but you also have had reports from Todd Starnes of Fox News about the health care issues that are there as far as scabies, uh, lice, uh, a case of swine flu, some other things. But the, what is so troubling is that here you have a, a congressman that was a former naval aviator in his own state is not allowed to go into a military installation and see what is going on there. That's uh, de deplorable. It's despicable. And this this was supposed to be the most transparent administration in the history of the United States. Well, and Congressman Bridenstine also said, look, I'm trying to prevent these kids from getting trafficked. This is my job. Mm -hmm. This is my district. Let me in. They won't do it. I also want to ask you about the story that we just played in Murrieta, California. Mm -hmm. You think this is a setup? A lot of people say that the administration is behind this. Well, when you look at all the, the, the trends that have occurred, going back to January, when we saw a website advertising for escorts for illegal immigrants and transportation means, when you had the uh, Secretary of Education, Arne Duncan, and the Attorney General, Eric Holder, two months ago, come out and say that any uh, you know city or superintendent that tries to deny illegal immigrant children uh, education, they're going to bring a lawsuit against them. We had an administration that was advertising for food stamps south of the border using American taxpayer dollars to do this. And of course, the president's executive order that he took to redefine immigration policy is a main factor uh, in that these individuals are looking to come here because they believe if I'm young, I get here and I'll be able to stay. So when you look at all of those trends, all of those facts, it leads to an administration that is trying to do something purposeful with the immigration policy because as normal, if they can't get cap and trade through legislatively, they turn to the EPA and it's the exact same thing they're doing here. You know what? I don't understand how this helps them. You look at the footage from the town hall, you see almost every demographic represented. I mm -hmm. mentioned this on the five. You have a woman who's older, you have sure. a younger black man. This crosses party lines. Yeah, People are upset. How does this help President upset. Obama in an election year? This, I mean, we just have a Gallup poll come out this mm -hmm. week saying a majority of Americans now saying, whoa, hold the brakes on immigration. But, but see, two things. You give the emotional side of it where you, don't you care for the children, but we're not talking about the MS-13 gang members. And then you get the other side where it's just a do-nothing Congress, and I'm forced to do this because they won't take up that Senate, Senate uh, comprehensive immigration reform bill, which is, you know, full of stuff that we don't understand. It's over 2,000 pages. So he thinks politically this is going to help him with that Hispanic vote and demonize the GOP and the Republicans. But you're right. When you look at the economic situation that we're in, you look at the, uh, the situation as far as our employment, that jobs report is not the best jobs report out there. We're going to have a crash with the uh, Dow Jones hitting 17,000 because we're just printing money. So uh, you're putting an undue pressure on Americans citizen. Well, that's very scary because that would also mean that President Obama is orchestrating this, not just for PR purposes, but so he can get his way. He's willing to let a crisis happen. and Never let a good crisis go. go to waste, Rahm Emanuel. That is true. Scary stuff. Yeah. Congressman, thanks. Thank you.